I'm back. Road rants on that sorry-ass mayor, Bill de Blasio, in New York City, and America's mayor, Rudy G. Rudy G came out, made some comments this morning on Fox and Friends, and let's roll that footage. Bam! Mr. Mayor, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams held up two little baby shoes of a one-year-old and talked about uh, the latest victim of gun violence, and he called on the mayor to bring back the 1,600 man and woman force of the anti-crime unit that might have been able to prevent a shooting like this. Will he listen? Well, first of all, Eric is absolutely right. I mean, that, that was one of the critical five or six drastic mistakes that de Blasio made. That unit, I started that unit. It was originally called the street crime unit. They're the people who straightened out uh, Times Square for me. They're the people who straightened out Harlem and Bedford-Stuyvesant. And their expertise was taking guns from people because gun control was meaningless, right? Bad people don't control their guns. So you have to devise a strategy to do it. We devised a strategy called Stop, Question, and Frisk. Uh, before I left office, it was held constitutional by Eric Holder and by Janet Reno. I convinced them it was constitutional. I limited it to 100, 100,000 per per year. It went all the way up to 600,000, and they started to make a lot of mistakes. I also suggest bringing back the constitutional Terry stops because you, you have to take the guns from them. Okay, so Rudy G basically said, look, New York has had an unbelievable spike in shootings. Year over year, something in the neighborhood of around 600%. It has went up. And Rudy is pissed because Rudy put together the anti-crime street unit. And he straightened a lot of areas up in New York. Well, as part of the overreaction to George Floyd's death, de Blasio, who, by the way, his deal before mayor, he was a freaking activist. I mean, really? Can you imagine going from Rudy G., America's mayor, to that fucking deal hole up there in New York right now. He was out there painting a mural, Black Lives Matter mural thing with Al Sharpton, Twiddledee and Twiddle Asshole, together painting a mural in front of Trump Towers because I said this is all about Trump, Orange Man Bad. It is. A lot of this stuff is about Trump. And trying to get him out of office, Black Lives Matter, uh, they're on video saying they want to get Trump out of office. So anyway, over the weekend, there was a one-year-old killed. At a family picnic, there was a one-year-old that was shot. And over the, uh, in the last couple of days, black leaders, uh, Eric Adams has come out. He's a uh, Brooklyn Borough, uh, one of the Brooklyn Borough president, he's part of some situation up there. He come out and said uh, they want the anti-crime crime unit back. There's an activist up there, uh, Tony Herbert. He's also black. He came out and said, we want the anti-crime street unit back. And what they did was they went out there and they took guns off the street. Okay, because Rudy G basically said, look, criminals are not going to check their guns in. We went and got the sons of bitches. We went and got the guns from the criminals. Without guns, the criminals can't... You know, Rudy G is very open about the fact you're not talking about responsible gun ownership here. This is not like the good old boys, you know, with their AR-15s that know exactly what they're doing and they care about people. You're talking about assholes looking to kill each other. Big damn difference, right? So... And look, Rudy G said he will not run for mayor again. But he did say something has to be done. He also said de Blasio has to come out and quit talking shit about the police force. De Blasio's talked to, he said his son is afraid of the cops. And uh, he's talked about cops being racist and all kinds of crap. Okay, and Rudy G said, quit running your mouth about the damn police. Quit running your mouth, you know? Uh, I have to get my ass in the shot here. So, quit running your mouth. Because, look, 
when you run your mouth, the community loses faith in the police. And guess what? The community wants the police. This is why, this is why Trump is going to get reelected because he's going to get a large amount of the black vote. I keep saying that. John Matrix has said it. I have said it. We both think Trump is going to get an unprecedented amount of black votes. And one of the reasons is the huge spike in violence. Gang violence, you've, you've cut, you've taken the knees out from underneath the police forces. You've dogged them out. You've talked shit about them. And now the citizens feel like they don't have to respect them. In this case, he, he literally disbanded an anti-crime unit. He disbanded them. The cons- By the way, they went to court about the constitutional uh, value and whether or not the anti-crime unit was something that fit into the Constitution. It did. It did. Okay, they proved it in court. He, he, uh, Rudy G. went before Janet Reno. And now you've got citizens that want this unit back. They want this unit back. Look, I've said on this channel, I'm going to come out and um, I'm going to be about back in the blue. I am. And this is one of those things. I hate seeing... You know, they think conservatives are all... I used to be a Democrat, but hell... They think all conservatives, good God, I go into my spam folder or whatever it is on comments. I've got assholes calling me racist in there. And I'm like, really? I'm trying to stop black people from fucking dying. From gang warfare. Fuck no, I'm not racist. These people are idiots. I'm starting to realize liberals, SJWs, a lot of Democrats. I can't even believe I was part of the party. Y'all are complete buffoons but you guys all think trump supporters are racist anyway mary hart introduced trump during a rally twitter called her i didn't know she was a racist you're a bunch of fucking idiots dumb asses dumb asses so bring back look quit talking shit de blasio's a complete fool he was out there doing his little mural thing with al sharpton they kept talking to each other, leaning over, and pulling their mask down. Now, protesting doesn't spread the virus. They're like two and a half foot away from each other. It was embarrassing. Total and complete imbeciles. It's scary to think somebody like de Blasio is actually over a city like New York. How can you go from Rudy G to that total clown? God, talk about trading down. Peace, I'm out. Tell me what you think, Road Squadron. Bring back the strike team like they got in the shield. That's what I'd do. I said it on this channel before. If I was all these big cities, I'd watch all seven seasons of the shield, and I'd create me a strike team, and they would get out there and start busting fucking heads. This gang violence would be over. Over. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.